like we came up we we grew up when like Maroon Five bought out their first album. Do you know what I mean? Like songs about Jane. That impacts child life. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Hi friends! So we're back once again. This time we're not actually in Manchester. <laughs> we're actually in Leeds. So we've driven all the way down to Leeds today um, and we're going to be going back tonight. But why are we in Leeds, sweetie? So we're going to check out Mouth Culture and we're going to bring you along for the ride. Yeah, um, we've been listening to Mouth Culture for a while now um, and they're absolutely brilliant mm -hmm. and they've got some exciting things coming up in the future. So we're going to go say hi to them, have a little chat with them mm -hmm. and see their set and stuff. So yeah, come along on another adventure. Let's do this. Let's go. Hi everyone, so we're here with Mouth Culture at the Leeds date and do you want to introduce yourselves one by one and tell us what you do? Hello, I'm Jack and I sing. I'm Mason and I play guitar. And I'm Todd and I play bass. So you're on a little date right now, you just came off a tour. How was that tour that you've just done? Unreal. Literally. Like the tour of dreams for us, wasn't it? It was, we didn't really expect we didn't really expect, we didn't know what to expect. And then every day it just kept getting better and better. And I think like 9% of it sold out in the end, which was fucking yeah. We kind of got like the updates as we went on. So like we'd finish a show and then like the next like date, the one after would be like, we get a notification like by email saying like, yeah, it's sold out. And we're like, mad, another yeah. one. So then we got to then run to the guy who does the poster to be like, can you update the poster quick? And it was stress, wasn't it? Yeah. Like we had to redo it about 10 times, but I suppose yeah, it's, it's a good, good sign, right? But what else? Um, I think it was, it was not, I'd, it's mad how many new fans we made on that tour. Mm. I'm not going to lie, like, it turns out the old way, the old fashioned way of doing it works. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, word yeah. of mouth. And all those little shows that we played last year, we went back to those places on the tour and there was double the amount of people there most nights. So it was yeah. like, was that really, Newcastle really nice. was the, like, probably the biggest testament, wasn't it? It's like we sold that out, but then the last time we played the exact same venue, we had four people there, five yeah. people there. Yeah, and it was <laughs> it was yeah, an interesting one. Mad. We were all in the green room just laughing. Right, we were like, "Oh my god!" Whoa. Yeah, but Surreal, yeah, isn't yeah, it? it was. Yeah, there was a load of like contextual things that went into it, but it was yeah, kind of mad that we then sold it out. So it was like a nice wholesome moment for us, yeah. wasn't it? And it's nice to be back in Leeds. We've known we don't really play Leeds that often, do mm. we? We played it once. Played it with Acres. Yeah, yeah. Key Club. We played the Key Club once. Um, we've not been back since. I don't know why. We play a lot of Northern shows. Um, but sold out one tonight, so doing something right again. <laughs> so obviously last year you released the album Mishap of Your Mid-Twenties and we were talking about this before. When the album first came out versus now, the numbers have skyrocketed on that album. How are you feeling about that album doing so well? It's Again, it just it blows our minds, doesn't it? Like we don't, I don't know. I'm not going to lie, I don't really look at the numbers now. I do. I, I um, don't. I don't. <laughs> Every I don't, day I go, I go on not, it. Not in like that's a, just my name. Not like I don't care way. It's of just course. like. You I, can get lost in I'd, it, can't you? Yeah, like I'd get like bummed out if stuff wasn't hitting certain numbers within a certain time and it was just like, why do I care? Like I don't. And do you know what? It turns out if you stop caring about it and you just focus on what you're doing, it all works it out. Happens, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I think as well, it like certifies our journey as well because we had such a difficult year. Yeah. And we. We always make music for ourselves, but to like see how well it's done and sell shows out and like people believe the music and like people are like screaming it back at us live and we've never had that before that tour. And um, yeah, I think it's just like we've been through so much shit and then now it's like universal and everyone kind of believes it and it just certifies that for us, I think. Yeah. It's really nice. Okay, so a little fun question for you, one by one, who are your biggest musical inspirations? My Chemical Romance. Stop talking into the mic. 
Give me a six. <laughs> Mine's going to be a curveball, but I had like a bit of a different sort of musical journey coming. But John Mayer, for me, getting into guitar. <laughs> it was. So, yeah, I'd say John Mayer for uh, the journey of getting into guitar. <laughs> He's the guy who put his guitar in the freezer, right? Guitar in the freezer? Yeah. Oh, he did, he did a bit. <laughs> no. Yeah, sorry, I'm obviously not that big of a fan. <laughs> well, he's no Celine Dion. Also, yeah. Celine Dion. Yeah, Celine Dion. I'm a legend. When you said that, I've never heard silence quite that loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, that's a bit, I anticipated it. I probably shouldn't have preempted it because I gave the grounds to do that. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, I guess he's quite a cringy guy. But it's, uh, but I think he's, he's, he's a sick guitarist. And yeah. I, I can't play guitar, so I can't comment. I don't know. I don't know about John Mayer. <laughs> I think those like oddball, oddball influences kind of like make our music what it is anyway. Yeah. It's like we don't, we're not just a rock band, like we do everything in between. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the new stuff we're doing at the minute as well, we're going a bit more yeah. kind of. Oh, really? A bit more daring, yeah, even yeah, more yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've like, we came up, we, we grew up when like Maroon 5 bought out their first album. Do you know what I mean? Like, Songs about James. That impacts child life. And I think it comes out on sure a lot of this stuff, yeah. doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What else? Yeah. <laughs> Limp biscuit. There's a bit more, yeah, bit, yeah. bit more biscuit on it, isn't there? Biscuit. <laughs> you know I mean? biscuit on this EP. I'm yeah. just to nail the I should actually say a little caveat. I don't know if that's the right word. I think caveat. It might be caveat. That's food, mate. I think that's a warning. I think, but anyway, um, it was actually an EP, not an album. It's released as an album on uh, some mishaps in my twenties. Um, yeah. The label released it as an album. So when you like put it up for distro, you can say what it is. Yeah. I think the person who did it put it as an album. So, but it is actually technically an EP. Yeah. Spotify. So it's not. We've not if got a debut album this. yet. Please change it to an EP. Someone's in the back of the Someone's van. Someone's just breaking into our van. Yeah. It's <laughs> always <laughs> <Somebody's> worrying. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so kind of on the same lines as what we've just spoke about, what's next for Mouth Culture? So what are your plans for the rest of the year and what's going to be happening? Play all of the festivals we can, all the ones that we've been announced for anyway, not just everyone. Um, release a new EP, tour that, and take over the world. Yeah. I think that's a pretty solid oh, plan. Yeah. yeah. I think we're doing another EP. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> you guys are playing 2000 Trees this year yeah. as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we, a bit of a we, mad one. We might even play some new stuff out that, you don't know. Maybe. 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 You heard it here first. It's already been planned. You, you can't. <laughs> it's happening. Big thank you guys for taking the time to sit down and have a chat with us. We're really looking forward to your show tonight. And if you guys don't know, get to know and make sure you go check these out because they're absolutely incredible. Hell yeah, baby. Mouth culture. Let's go. So another interview done. Big thank you to Mouth Culture for sitting down with us. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, we're just going to go drop all our gear off back at the car now, uh, and then we're going to have a beer. I think they're on at nine. So what time are we on now? Half seven. We've got a bit of time yet. So drop all the stuff off. Go have a beer. Let's party. Woo. It's only Diet Coke because I'm driving, so. <laughs> I've got a, a mango and guava beer. <laughs> I told him to get it, so if it's terrible, it's my fault. Yeah, it looks a bit funny. <laughs> right. Looks a bit funny, but. Do you know what they say, though? Looks can be deceiving because that's delicious. <laughs> I told him to get it, so I'm going to try it too. (laughs) I don't really like beer. Like, it's not horrendous. Like, I could drink it, but...
I want you all with your flashlights on. Get them up, I want this whole fucking room full. Please, let's go. Get them up. You lot at the back, don't be proud, get your phone out. Get that light up.
Matt's a rat. <laughs> Joking. Um, the set was absolutely brilliant. It was absolutely incredible. We've just come outside for some fresh air because it was so hot in there. We'll give you a proper rundown when we're back in the car, but just know for now, the set was sick. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back home. Yeah, little uh, change of scenery for you because I didn't want the bathroom to start getting old. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've literally just got back from Leeds now. Did you have a good night? I had an absolutely killer night. They absolutely killed it, yeah. The show was so good. Like, Mouth Culture are such a good band. So if you haven't heard of them before, definitely go check them out. Mm -hmm. I want to give a big shout out to the tour manager for sorting us out with the interview and stuff. Big love, thank you very much. And of course, a big, big thank you to Mouth Culture for yeah. sitting down with us and chatting to us. Because as we've said before, bands have busy schedules. So I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us. Mm -hmm. But yeah, everybody was lovely. It was a great evening. The weather was beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've had a really nice time with you. Yeah, I had a really, really good time. Like, like she's said it all, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big shout out to everybody. And uh, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, it was a brilliant night. And it is now midnight so you know the deal it's food and bedtime mm. thank you so much for supporting the alt couple we really really appreciate it and mm -hmm. we love you all very very much don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one